In this video I'm going to show you how to create your own token on the Ethereum blockchain by writing your own custom smart contract. So you can actually do this online by heading over to remix.ethereum.org and that's what we are going to be doing for this video. So a smart contract allows you to run code on the Ethereum blockchain and we can create a smart contract by creating a new file. So we'll call this my token and then you can use the .sol extension. This is because we will be programming in the Solidity programming language. So firstly we need to specify the version of Solidity that we are using so we can use the Pragma Solidity directive and then in my case I am using version 0.7.4. So to create a contract we type in contract followed by the name of your contract so in my case I'll call this my token and then we'll open some curly braces. So in here is where we write all the code that is ran across all the nodes in the network and this will affect the global state of the blockchain which will be propagated across all nodes in the network. So the first thing we can do in here is create a constructor and this is the code that will be executed when the contract is initially deployed. So in here message.sender refers to the person who created this contract and will make that person in charge of minting as many tokens as they want. So above the constructor we can define the state of our contract and in here we want to keep track of who is the minter. So what we're going to do is create a variable of type address, we'll make it public and we'll call it minter. And then in the constructor, we can set the minter to message.sender, which is the person that created the contract. So now throughout the rest of the code, we'll be able to refer to minter as the person who is allowed to mint new tokens. So now we'll create a new function called mint, and these functions can be executed by anyone on the blockchain as long as we have the public keyword at the end. So when we mint new tokens, we want to specify the address of the receiver who will receive these new tokens and also the amount we will be minting. And uint just means that the amount is a positive whole number. Now inside this function, message.sender will refer to the person who called this function, or in other words, the person who wants to mint some new tokens. Now, as I said before, we only want the minter, the person who created the contract, to be able to mint new tokens. So what we can do is require that the person that is trying to mint a new token is indeed the minter. So this means if someone who is not the minter tries to mint tokens then there will be an error here and none of the code will be executed. So before we can mint any tokens we need to keep track of every address's balance and the way we can do that is by creating a mapping. So we want to create a mapping between addresses and numbers. We'll make this public and then we'll call it balances. So now we'll be able to query or modify the balance of any address who has participated with our smart contract and initially everyone's balance will be zero. So we can get the balance of the receiver who should be receiving these new limited tokens and then increase that balance by the amount we are minting. Okay, so now we should be able to test out our smart contract. So we can come over here to the Solidity compiler section on the left and all we have to do is hit compile my token. So now we can come over to the deploy and run transactions section and make sure you select JavaScript virtual machine for the time being. And this means we won't be deploying to the real Ethereum blockchain, but rather we'll be using our own local fresh blockchain for testing purposes. So we can now select our token and hit deploy. And you can see your token is now deployed onto the blockchain. So if we hit the arrow to open our contract up, you'll see there are a few options here that we can work with. So first of all, if we click on Minter, You'll see that the address of the minter is indeed my address since I created the contract. You'll also see that there is a mint function here. So what we can do is copy and paste our address and we'll mint 100 tokens for ourselves and click transact. And then if we copy and paste this address to the balances section we can then click on balances and it will tell us that this address has 100 of our own custom tokens. So if we mint another 200 tokens and then we click on balances again, you'll now see we have a total of 300 of our own custom tokens. Okay, so next we now need to be able to transfer tokens from one account to another. What we'll now do is create a new function for sending our token from one address to another. So we'll create an address for the receiver and a number for the amount, and we'll once again make it public. So in this function, message.sender will be the from address, or in other words, the person who is sending this transaction. And we first want to check to make sure that the person making this transaction actually has sufficient balance. So we'll check if the amount we are sending is less than or equal to the balance of the sender. 
if this isn't the case we can actually write a custom error message so we'll just say insufficient balance so now it's very simple we can take the balance of the sender and then decrease it by the amount we are sending and then take the balance of the receiver and increase it by the amount we are sending so now we can go ahead and test our smart contract again so we'll compile it and then we'll delete our previous contract and deploy our new one so we'll once again come in here and get our address and then we will mint some tokens so now if we check our balance we have some tokens and now what we'll do is send these tokens to a random address so what I'll do is come to etherscan.io and get a random address and we'll just go ahead and copy that and paste it in here and click transact and now we should see if we query our balance again it has indeed reduced and if we query the balance of this random person we'll see that their balance has gone up so if we actually had this contract applied to the real blockchain right now this random person would have actually received some of our own custom token so the final thing we'll do in this video is take a look at events so events are a way that people can subscribe and react to changes to the state of our contract. So we'll come up here and we'll create an event called sent. And this event will consist of the from address, the to address and the amount that we have sent. So what we can actually do is emit one of these events whenever anyone sends a transaction. And anyone that is watching this smart contract will be able to pick up on these events. So the way we emit an event is very simple, we just do emit followed by the event name which is sent. Then we can put in the from address which is the sender and then the to address which is the receiver followed by the amount. And now if we reapply this contract we'll be able to see the events in action. So we'll once again mint some tokens. And we'll come over to etherscan and get a random address. And we'll send them some tokens and hit transact. And if we open up the logs down here at the bottom, we'll see our transaction went through. And when we click on it and come over to logs, you should be able to make out that a sent event occurred from this address to this address with this amount. So that is going to be the end of this tutorial. Please leave a comment below if there's anything about Ethereum smart contracts that you'd like to learn about. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters, Bo, Quasart, Lee. Fernando, Alexander, Chris, James, Rylidra, Clark Gabel, Andre, Jerome, Adolfo and Xapec. Apologies if I've pronounced any of these names incorrectly. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.